is the Lord. Somebody worship the Lord. My Lord. Somebody call the name of Jesus. My Lord. Somebody call in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Somebody call in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. I can't do nothing without calling that name. Somebody call on that name for me. Somebody call the name of Jesus. For Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the light. He said, no man goeth unto the Father, but by him somebody call his name. Somebody call his name. Somebody call his name. His name is above every other name. Somebody call his name. Somebody call his name. Somebody call his name. Glory to God. Praise God. I just want to greet the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Praise God into Bishop KD Collins. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God to Overseer Collins, his wife. Praise God to all the leaders. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. I just want to greet in the mighty name of Jesus Christ tonight. Glory to God to my loving wife. Praise God to all you saints. You can be seated at this time. Turn the Bibles. Praise God with me to Numbers. Praise God 12 at this time. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Somebody worship the name of the Lord. Glory to God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. It's a great privilege for me to be in the house of the Lord another time. Praise God on the mountain top. Praise God in the great gathering. Somebody worship the name of the Lord. Glory to God. Somebody praise the name of the Lord. Glory to God. After listening to the news and seeing the movement of that snowstorm. Someone praise the name of the Lord. Glory to God. I know that some Christian was praying. Someone praise the name of the Lord. Some Christian in New York City was praying for the great gathering. Someone magnify the name of the Lord. Glory to God. So the, earth, the, the, the storm moved 25 miles away. Someone magnify the name of the Lord. Glory to God. Someone worship the name of the Lord. It means that some believe leader was praying. Someone pray the name of the Lord. Some was praying right to your last night on this spot. Somebody pray the name of the Lord. Glory to God. Praise God because the great gathering got to go home. Praise God. No sandy flood. Somebody praise God. No snowstorm. No earthquake. No Al-Qaeda. Somebody praise God. No natural disaster. No fire will stop this thing. Praise God. Because this thing is of God. And anything that is of God is unstoppable somebody magnify the name of the Lord for this is the great gathering glory to God the souls will be gathered unto the Lord somebody magnify God no cultural barrier will stop this thing they tried in numbers 12 and God bring leprosy and one of them that tried to stop it somebody magnify God somebody worship the Lord nothing can stop this thing this thing is beyond man this thing is an everything somebody worship the Lord so you got to be a part of the great gathering hallelujah 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 glory to God I'm going to read selective verses praise God from Numbers 12 praise God hallelujah Numbers 12 Verse 1, it said, Miriam and Aaron speak against Moses because of the Ethiopian woman who he had married. So in the praise of the name of the Lord. For he had married an Ethiopian woman. So in the praise of the name of the Lord. Verse 15, and, and Miriam was shut out at the camp seven days and the people sojourned not until Miriam was brought back in. So I magnify the name of the Lord. Glory to God. In this time and age, I want to tell the people of God and I want to tell the world don't be an endurance to the great gathering. Somebody magnify the name of the Lord. Somebody magnify the name of the Lord. Don't be an endurance to the great gathering. Glory to God. Miriam and Arian, they tried it. Glory to God. Because God have called Moses. Glory to God to gather the people. Praise God from Egypt and carry them to the promised land. But while they were gathering together and moving out of Egypt, praise God. And in the wilderness for a time. Glory to God. Miriam praise God the one and hear and speak against Moses because Moses was about to beat cultural barriers somebody magnify God glory to God 
they rise up against him because he make a decision to marry to an Ethiopian woman. Somebody magnify God. Glory to God. You cannot stop the move of God. Somebody worship God. It's not a white man thing. It's not a black man thing. Somebody magnify God. It's a world thing. For the Bible said in John 3 and verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his holy because son that whosoever believed in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Don't be an endurance to the great gathering. This thing is unstoppable of God. This thing cannot be stopped, Lord God Almighty. So don't 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 try it. Don't try it, world. ISIS, don't try it. Someone to praise the name of the Lord. Someone to praise the name of the Lord. Political people don't try it. Someone to magnify the name of the Lord. This thing is unstoppable. Glory to God, praise God. One thing that I noticed in the great gathering. <laughs> that all the great gathering most of them <laughs> they always fight against the one that God call uh, to lead the gathering <laughs> Son magnify the name of the Lord <laughs> they always fight against the leader <laughs> glory to God <laughs> glory to God in the book of Genesis 6 <laughs> 7 and 8 <laughs> they speak against Noah so much <laughs> for the 120 years <laughs> that he was trying to gather the people together <laughs> somebody magnify God <laughs> glory to God. They speak against Moses so much that God got to bring leprosy on the woman. The one that thought that he know Moses so much. Glory to God. Some scholars may say, glory to God, that Miriam was a choir leader. He know everything about Moses. He changed Moses diaper. But yet still, glory to God, she speak against Moses and God allowed leprosy to take our home I'm here to turn the planet I'm here to tell the nation I'm here to tell New York City glory to God child of God across the planet don't be an endurance to this thing it is unstoppable you may be looking at a man and thought is the man but it's not just a man. Somebody praise the name of the Lord. You may be looking and thoughts a woman. It's not just a woman. This is the great gathering. And God said, if you try to stop anybody in this thing, if you be an, if you be an offender, you'd rather you die. Somebody praise the name of the Lord. If you be an offender to anyone in this great gathering or in this move of God upon the earth, God said, you'd rather you put a millstone. God's a God of love, and why would God say that? God is a God of love. And God said, if you be an endurance to this thing, God said, I would, you ready to put a millstone around your neck. And not just go into the sea. He said, look for the deepest part of the sea. Someone praise the name of the Lord. And go. Someone praise God. Don't be an endurance to this thing. This is a world warning. It's, this is an international warning. This is a neighbor and family warning. Don't be an endurance. This is a church warning. Don't be an endurance to the great gathering. Someone praise God. Someone worship the Lord. Someone praise God. Moses was called to lead the children of Israel, praise God, out of Egypt. And because everybody knew him, they thought it was just Moses, but it was beyond Moses. Somebody magnify God. They rise up against him so much that God got to come down and said, Miriam and Aaron and Moses need to talk to you because something's not going on right. Planet Earth, don't allow God to come down. Child of God. I 
across the planet child of God don't allow God to come down and draw us together for being an endurance to the great gathering number one speaking against our leader glory to God is an endurance to the great gathering somebody magnify God so we can't be on the endurance to the great gathering. We can't afford to speak against the choir leader, the overseer, the bishop, Lord God Almighty. So the praise God. But be humble in the sight of God. For God said, You must rebuke a leader, but entreat him like a brother. So praise God for God will correct the leader. Somebody worship the Lord. Somebody magnify God. If the leader is going on the wrong way, the Lord will correct him or her. So on the praise the name of the Lord. So on the praise God. Everybody nowadays they're looking for the leaders to slip. They're just looking for you to make a mistake. Just looking for your head. When you're, do, when you're doing things like that, you, that, that, that's satanic. The Bible said the enemy look at the upright in heart, ready to shoot at him in secret. You got to be careful. If you're looking for the mistake, look for it to carry it or to help it, to prevent it. Someone praise the name of the Lord. Not to disgrace, but to, to protect. Someone praise or, or prevent. I'm a security officer, and the word security means to prevent things from happening. So I magnify the name of the Lord. We, we're not a police. This is the harvest army. Glory to God. So I praise the name of the Lord. We don't wait on things to happen. This is a prophetic church. So I magnify God. You got to pray some more to see ahead. So I magnify God to prevent what is about to take place. Somebody magnify Magnify God upon the earth up to the leader. And when you see something, be humble. Be very humble. Be very, very humble. Because Miriam and Aaron, according to culture, Moses should not marry to an Ethiopian woman. And if you challenge them, they will be right. Don't? They will be right. Because it's not cultural. But the Lord was speaking to Moses differently. So some things don't look natural. For God is a spirit. Come on, help me. And they that worship him, come on, help me. Must worship him in spirit and in truth. Come on, help me now. For the natural man understand that the things of God. For what? For they are spiritually discerned. And Jesus said, Jesus said, I'm looking for such a worshiper. One that will worship me in spirit and in truth. Somebody magnify God. So in this age and time, some things may not look ordinary when the leader do it. But it's beyond major. Oh, would it look to you? The Red Sea is in front of you. Fear and his army behind. Mountain to the right and mountain to the left. And your leader will up his hand in the ear. Some of you may take a stone and lick it down. Glory to God. But they did not know that Moses was hearing from God. His ears was open up to hear God said, Moses, what is that you have in your hand? Glory to God. Use it. Somebody praise God. And when he lift his hand, I saw the people still fearful. Somebody praise God. When his hand lift with the rod, the people were still fearful. Somebody praise God. But he was about to do the impossible by obeying the voice of God. Somebody worship the Lord. Somebody worship the Lord. I could see him. His hand is still up. Hold him the rod. And the people are trembling. Glory to God. Complaining. God. Why you carry us out 
here for for us to die in the Red Sea and fear on his army to destroy us but Moses Moses was a man of God or not Moses was a man that listened to the voice of God and said I won't be an endurance to this thing I'm going to obey what God said so child of God across the planet wherever you are your leader labor in the word sorry praise God your leader don't be an embezzler your leader don't be a womanizer you gotta have respect for them for they are hearing from the Lord somebody shout don't be an endurance to the great gathering don't be an endurance to the great gathering and as Moses lift the rod and hold it for a while the impossible take place <laughs> the sea was parted and then the people cross over somebody magnify the name of the Lord that's why you can't speak against your leaders. Someone praise the name of the Lord. Could you imagine Miriam? Could you imagine Miriam was one that take care of Moses? Look about Moses when he was small. Miriam was like a choir leader. That's why I say you got to be humble. Miriam was like a choir leader. It was like a mother to Moses. Someone praise the name of the Lord. He was the one that changed Moses. But yet still when the Lord start to use Moses, she become jealous. Someone pray the name of the Lord. She become jealous and try to believe that she know more because she go to Bible college or because she's older. Older there now is Bible college now. The older near is college or university. Someone pray the name of the Lord. She, she thought that because she's older, she know more. Someone magnify the name of the Lord. But you got to know when the Lord is using somebody. Someone to praise the name of the Lord. You got to be in the spirit to know when the Lord is using somebody in this time. Someone to magnify the name of the Lord. Someone to praise the name of the Lord. The Bible said in Nineveh, praise God, hallelujah, when the man of God went down there, the king knew that God was using the man and the king wasn't saved. When Jonah went to Nineveh, and preach after God came to go and he hide. The Bible said when he reached there and started to preach, the cinnamon know it was of God and gathered the people together. The sinner know and gathered the people together and they all were saved. Somebody magnify the name of the Lord. You cannot speak against the leaders. It's very horrible. It's very dreadful. Somebody magnify the name of the Lord. When you speak against the leaders, glory to God, you become very disobedient. Very. Not, not just being disobedient, you become very disobedient. For God speak clearly, 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 clearly. Someone to praise the name of the Lord. Someone to praise the name of the Lord. Sometimes we wonder why some things happen to us, some destruction and things not going on. Someone to praise the name of the Lord. It's because of what we have sown. I tell my church, in Montego Bay, I tell them that if you plant pure maca tree, you will never get fruit tree. So I want to praise the name of the Lord. But if you plant pure fruit tree, you will always have fruits. A lot of persons just practice to plant the negative at all time. And I tell them, in this time, you can't be negative. You got to be positive. The surrounding already is already negative. So I want to praise the name of the Lord. I for you to get energy, you have to have negative and positive. So I'm not going to be on the negative side. I'm going to be on the positive side. Son, magnify the name of the Lord. The environment is already negative. So I'm going to pray. The planet is already on the negative side. The heads of government is already on the negative side. The school is on the negative side. The workplace is on the negative side. 
but I'm going to be on the positive side. Somebody magnify God. I'm going to be on the positive side for I want to bring energy to the hurt. I want to bring energy in my workplace. I want to bring energy in my school. I want to bring energy in the heads of government. So I got to be positive. So I want to praise the name of the Lord. So I want to praise God. As I listen to the news tonight, I don't know much about America, but somebody was bringing a report that the person who's giving out the report about the, the, the storm coming should apologize. The man said, I'm not going to apologize. Because when Sunday was coming, Sunday was coming in the same format, look normal and everything. I'm not going to apologize. Someone praise the name of the Lord. Someone praise the name of the Lord. Praise God, but the church was praying. Someone praise the name of the Lord. If that, was, if that did it, New York City, New York City will be over. Right now, Boston is in trouble for they did not prepare as though they should. Someone to magnify the name of the Lord. They did not follow what New York do. Someone to praise the name of the Lord because the great gathering is in New York. They did not follow what New York did. Someone to praise the name of the Lord because the great gathering is here on the mountain top. Son to magnify the name of the Lord. Son to praise the name of the Lord. So you got to follow the mountain top system. Glory to God. Son to praise the name of the Lord. In the great chattering, you got to follow what work. Someone to magnify the Lord. Many people, after a while, after they know the leader much and serve the leader and give him water. Treat him, treat him, he have a rug and he have food and warm clothes and you, you know the stuff that is okay they allow pride to take them over when they see the little the little weakness what the person may shift or may not have never remember to wipe one side of him forehead sure. Sure. tie twisted come on help me jacket crush up so I want to praise the name of the Lord. So I want to praise the name of the Lord. So they saw that and they take that for granted. So I want to praise the name of the Lord. And then have the full of, full of self of pride. So I want to magnify the name of the Lord. But the Bible said when pride cometh, cometh shame. You got to be careful. Planet Earth, you got to be careful. You got to be careful. World, you got to be careful. How much you speak against this great gathering. You got to be careful. Someone magnify the name of the Lord. You got to be very careful because shame is about to come up on you and your family. Shame is about to come upon the hurt like never before. Because many taking this thing for granted. Someone praise the name of the Lord. World Vision Day. World Vision Day in Montego Bay. World Vision Day 3 in Montego Bay. While we're getting ourselves together to move into Montego Bay City, a young man was there from after 11. Someone praise the name of the Lord. This thing, you can't take it for granted. A young man was there from after 11 waiting. From someone to praise God. He get a call, to, he get a call from someone, someone telling him about the, the, the World Vision Day. He saw it on YouTube. And he said, I can't afford to miss it. Someone magnify the name of the Lord. <laughs> Glory to God. And the young man was there. And after 11 waiting for us to reach. Someone magnify the name of the Lord. He reached there 3 minutes to 12. And the young man was there. And while the brethren start to preach like thunder. The young man walk up to an individual. And said, this is the great. This is the world which I'm there. Glory to God. And the person began to tell him yes. And tell him everything about it. And he said, yes, I want want to be baptized now can I be baptized somebody magnify God and I hear the verse ring in my ear 
creatures that the creature no way dead for the manifestation child of God child of God the sinners are waiting they are waiting to see the church move out in the streets and city like never before the Bible said the creature no way dead for the manifestation the upliftment of the child of God across the planet preaching the gospel that's what the Bible says do it too and verse 28 in the last days as I pour out at my spirit upon our flesh this thing it be on black and white this thing it be on pigment of the skin this thing is for every man for God said I would pour out of my spirit upon our flesh and my sons and daughters shall Prophesy! So, 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 don't envy a leader. <laughs> Warren Babylon, no. Don't, don't envy a leader. It's for everybody now. We're not living in Moses' time or Jonah time. It's for everybody now. So, if you seek the Lord, you will get it too. If you seek the Lord, you will get it because the outpouring is upon everyone. So don't envy your leader because your leader. Sit down with God and fellowship with God, and God speak to him. And you're walking around chatting people. Oh my Lord. Don't allow pride to take you over. The Bible said, whenever you start to be bickering and speaking against person quickly. That's pride. I can show you. Proverbs 13, 10. Only by pride commit contention. When you start to quarrel, when you start to curse, you fight against everything. That's a sign of pride. Somebody magnify the name of the Lord. The Bible said only, nothing else. Husband and wife, any start to quarrel, one of you better start buying pride fast. I'm serious. The scripture said only by that, only by pride, commit contention. So magnify the name of the Lord. The Bible said in Proverbs 16, 18, it said pride going before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. So magnify the name of the Lord. The Bible said in Proverbs 29 verse 23 And man pride shall brought him low Just like how it brought Miriam low Brought Miriam very low you know? Very low She was shut out of the camp Not only shut out But leprosy was on her Leprosy was one of the worst type of disease in those days You don't want to use your seat Your bed even if you walk there, they don't, they don't even want to walk there. Somebody magnify the name of the Lord. Somebody worship the name of the Lord. If you find yourself in this area, you better start to repent now before the sermon finish. Start to repent now before the sermon finish. Somebody magnify the name of the Lord. Somebody worship the name of the Lord. So in this time, we can't allow pride to take us over. It will destroy us. It will brought the strongest man to the lowest part of his life or the worst part of his life. Someone to worship the name of the Lord. Someone to praise the name of the Lord. Someone to praise the name of the Lord. Someone to praise God. The great gathering is beyond man. It is beyond us. It is beyond us. Humble ourselves under the mighty hand of God and he will exhort us in due time. Let us all stand everywhere. 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 Hallelujah. Is there a hand save here tonight? Is there a hand save here tonight? 
is there an unsavior tonight? I will come to the altar. I will come to the altar. You are here tonight. You were struggling. You were struggling with your leaders. I will come. I want everyone to come at this time. Everyone to come. Come boldly. Come boldly. Come. Come at this time. Don't speak against the leaders. It's a wicked thing. So I want to magnify the name of the Lord. Come at this time. Come at this time. Come to the halter. Draw close to the halter. You may never speak against a leader, but you don't know what can happen in the next five years. Come. 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 Miriam was with Moses from baby. And it's when, 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 when the, get, the great getting was going on, she speak. When the gathering was supposed to spread to other cultures, she speak against Moses. Someone magnify the name of the Lord. The gathering is spreading now. It is beating cultural barriers. So you got to be careful now. It's beating cultural barriers. Someone magnify the name of the Lord. Someone worship the Lord. Come at this time. Come at this time. Come at this time to the altar. Come at this time. Come at this time, hallelujah, let me pray for you. Hallelujah. Somebody worship the name of the Lord. Somebody worship the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody praise the name of the Lord. Come at this time. Come at this time. Glory to God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Praise God. Hallelujah. I know Andover. Praise God. Hallelujah. To Bishop Matthews at this time. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus.